or there were two major things I was believing God for. Many of you know that. I want to introduce one of those to you because I've been believing God for a good-looking Boaz. I mean, I just believe in God for... So I want you to welcome up your newest family member and this sexy man. Put your hands together for Jonathan. Many of you will recognize his life work when you hear him begin to play. He's written songs like He's written a few songs like Don't Stop Believing and Faithfully and Open Arms and hundreds of others. And his life work will speak for himself. And I asked if he would minister to you for a few minutes with his, so you can party. Okay, you can have fun. Put your hands together for Jonathan and let him do his thing. So, I just want to say, I'm so proud to be here with Paula tonight. We met each other on Southwest Airlines, uh, where there's no enemy up there, you know. Nothing but love and hearts, you know. Uh, and uh, she's been strong and prophetic in my life, and uh, uh, we went to Ghana recently, and... Uh, I met Archbishop Duncan. And I needed a lot of praying, so. <laughs> that rock and roll lifestyle gets you in every time. So tonight I'd just like to share a couple of melodies that uh, I had favor and blessing of be a part of uh, with a band called Journey. I'm so proud of this man. Plus, he's real good looking and sexy and keeps your pastor happy. And I'm so proud of this woman right here, your pastor, Paula. I love her. And last night, we had the wonderful privilege. We got up and flew in early, but... We It's so good to have this good-looking man in church with me, too, flying all the way back for Bible study. My baby. I'm happy to have John with me. But I'm so glad I have a vision keeper that helps me stay on track. And I should, I should mention right here that uh, uh, Joanna, the, the designer, uh, had a long-term relationship uh, with a man in... Because she was so spiritual, uh, it turned him off. And she had to end that relationship, uh, I think, seven years. Nine years, nine, almost. Nine years. Because she believed God she's going to be a But it broke her heart. Still day. the same, it broke her heart. And when she saw that Pastor Paula and I had found union together, she was inspired. It's that simple. See, Jesus was real clear. You are the light. Not you will be a light. You are the light. And we just call everything blessing because we are so desperate that we won't deny anything that comes into our life. You're not to accept everything that comes. Everything that comes to you is not of God. Every person that comes in your life is not of God. Every gift that somebody gives you is not of God. You've got to have a spirit of discernment to say, I let this in my life or I reject this out of my life. Because if you get close to me, you've got contact with me. It means I've got to know what's in you. I've got to 
sometimes either see light or I see darkness. If I don't see light, excuse me, I'll minister to you, but I'm not standing next to you because you're going to have an ability to transfer into me what is on the inside of you. Pastor Paul is teaching you good right now because legal entry comes through people. How you doing? Praise the Lord, family. Uh, my name is Minister Greg Jefferson. This is my lovely wife, Deaconess Tawana Jefferson. Amen. We will have been married uh, come June uh, 20 years. Amen. So, so we know a little bit something. That's Ella Marguerite. We do. so grateful for all the ministers and pastors and and I'm just thankful for you allowing me to go and continue to do what God's called us to do and I, I uh, my baby and I just got oh see I just have to keep focused here in fact come on up here baby we've got a few things to announce in my handsome husband sexy I'm sorry he's all right We had a lot of meetings that I'm going to share with you in just a minute, but you guys know me. I, I'm, your pastor is not going to be shacking up or living in sin or anything. So um, we were we went before Archbishop Duncan Williams and Bishop Jakes and everything else. And not only did John go to Ghana, which he said he'd never go to Africa, but he went several times to Ghana. And um, so he met with Papa and with Bishop Jakes. And so we took care of business before God and before everyone and made sure that we were right before the Lord. Amen. Archbishop Duncan Williams uh, did the service on Prayer Mountain. Amen. And uh, it was just family and uh, Archbishop and his lovely wife and my baby here. And uh, it was powerful. Powerful. And so... We wanted to share our American wedding and ceremony because everybody's like, well, we want to be at your wedding. We want to be at the wedding. So we said, well, we'll do one in April. So we're having our private one for our family because we can't fit anybody unless we go convention center or something. We're having our private one on April 25th, but we're having one for the entire church on April 26th. So that's two weeks from today. You are all invited. But we need you to RSVP because it's going to be a big shindig. And then you go sneak off and get married and never want nobody to know. I I'm just telling it how it really is. I wrote a special song Aww. for my lover I want to sing for you. Yeah. I am so blessed. So, at Papa's flying over, all our Ghana friends, Bishop Jakes is, I mean, everyone's coming in, and our family and our friends, and, and um, I need you to RSVP, though. Or you can sign up in the lobby, because we need to make sure that we get enough cake and punch and all this stuff. We're going to have dance floor. I mean, the whole absolute bit. I mean, we're doing deck the sanctuary out. Archbishop's going to speak that morning. So Papa's going to be in the house on Sunday morning, the 26th, and that night, 6 p.m., we're going to do a big ceremony and party together and have fun as a family. Is that good? Punch and all this stuff. We're going to have dance floor. I mean, the whole absolute bit. I mean, we're doing deck the sanctuary out. Archbishop's going to speak that morning. So Papa's going to be in the house on Sunday morning, the 26th, and that night, 6 p.m., we're going to do a big ceremony and party together and have fun as a family. Is that good? Because you, you guys should know we weren't going to leave you out. Amen?